Hi, I'm Lee Kanowski from Lane CTE, and we're going to show you a series of safety lessons. But before we get started, I want to make sure that we all have on our safety glasses and we are properly with PPE. No chains hanging down, sleeves rolled up, proper shoes, no sandals, and we're ready to work. Hi, right, today we're going to talk about the compound miter saw. This saw is also known as the chop saw. It will chop, it'll come straight down, and it'll slide back and forth. It's called the compound miter saw because you can change an angle back here. As well as an angle this way. So you get a double cut on this thing. Set this back to zero, and let me show you some of the safety features on this saw. First, it has a guard on the front. Never operate the saw with this part missing. This protects our hands and fingers from being cut. When cutting on this, push the saw all the way to the rear. Line up your board. Now, you have to push back against the fence as well as down. One of the common errors are people will chop their thumbs off because they keep them out like this as they bring the saw down holding the piece of wood. I suggest you tuck your thumb back underneath and then hold on before you bring it down. One thing you want to do is always make sure that everything's going to work, that you're on your line, and let's get ready to cut. First thing we want to do is engage the thumb lock and then pull the trigger. Now we're going to come straight down and we're not going to lift up until the blade comes to a complete stop. And then lift up and remove your pieces of wood. The reason why we want the blade to come to a complete stop is because if it's spinning and you lift it up, it has a tendency to lift these up and throw them around the shop. <laughs> 